found love in you. My name is Alam Diokoya. I'm 18 years old. I'm currently doing my A-levels. I'm year 13. Um, I enjoy reading, writing, um, swimming, archery. Um, yeah. In their 20 years of marriage, my parents have been very loving, very forgiving, very nurturing of us and themselves, um, very caring. My name is Abu Koya. I am 12 years old. I have three siblings and I'm a very good swimmer. Uh, my parents are very caring people. They're very kind and um, they're very strong and um, they're very, 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 very generous. I found love in you. My name is Renola Koya. Um, I like sports. My parents are very lovely people, very understanding, and they push us to be the best we can be, and I love them for that. My name is Shmumi Okoya. Uh, I'm 15. I'm going 16 in April 30th. I play basketball, football, I swim. Uh, I'm year 11. Uh, I'm tall, actually, as you can tell. When I see my parents, <coughs> I I just see like I, I see like love between them. And my parents they they're always happy. They always like to twenty years and some of the lessons I've learned from them are the importance of family and how important it is to just make sure that you're always together with your siblings and you carry them along with you and how important it is to be strong as a family and to remain united even when they annoy you or upset you just things like that and how important leadership is as well yeah what I've learned from my parents are that um, you should never give up and whatever you put your mind to, you should always achieve it. After 20 years of marriage, I see a partnership and two very loving people who love their kids. With my family, the things I cherish most, we, we do travel a lot together. And we actually go a lot of like a lot of fun places. Like, I remember one time, this was I think a couple years back, we went to Disneyland in Paris. That was actually very fun, I really enjoyed that. Growing up with my parents, there were always a lot of fun things to do. Like for instance, my mom cooks really well and my dad just likes to make jokes and he's a very fun person to hang around with. The fun times I've had with my parents are when we play bowling upstairs and when we have like parties in the house. One of the fondest memories I have of our childhood was when um, my dad was teaching us how to swim. That was very, very fun. And there was one time in particular where my mom came and because she can't swim, so we tried to get her to go in the pool, but she wouldn't do it. And we were all just laughing because it was really funny. You love me. You love me. I met my husband in 1999. I just clocked 22 then. I met him directly and he was just like, oh, I'm gonna marry you. So he was very, very straight to the point. He was blunt about it and his intentions were known from the beginning. Well, we have been together for the past 20 years. I've met many women in the past. When he met me, he he was a funny man and he was a very, very nice, generous man. I wasn't expecting him to just meet a girl. And, and I was just being open and being honest that, oh, I would like to marry you. I was afraid and I had to run away. I, I, I refused to see him for a long time. And afterwards, 
he, he, he wanted me, so let me just be honest, he wanted me and he showed it from the beginning. So I think his, his willingness got my attention and most of all, most of all his generosity. He was very, very, he, he's nice to a fault. She take good care of your home, good care of your children, good care of me. She's very nice, but sometimes don't tell her no. <laughs> You're in trouble. <laughs> So she's very nice. I, I really love her. We've had our ups and downs. We've, for me, <laughs> marriage is just one hell of an institution that you just have to stay in. You don't, it's, there's no going back once you just go in. My dad, he's very into his work. Like once he has a goal, he has to achieve it. And my mom, I feel like she's, she helps my dad to achieve his goals. So they, they kind of work like together. So when I grow up as an adult, I'd like to um, take up my dad's personality in the household. So I, I really like how he handles everything. When I grow up, I would like to be like both of them, but in but different aspects of both of them. For example, I would like from my dad, I'd like his work, his work ethic and just how responsible he is and everything, he's just his work, his work ethic. And for my mom, I would like how generous she is, how nice and loving. She's given me, she's been a role model on the kind of mother, on what a mother should be for their child. I'd like to take after my mom when I grow up because she can cook really well and then she has a lot of hobbies that she likes, then she's a very hardworking woman, so I'd like to be like her. I want to take over my dad, because my dad is very, 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 very smart. He likes to work, and he's very business-minded. Looking at my parents after 20 years of marriage, I've been able to learn that I have to work hard and that nothing in life is free. The most beautiful thing about my parents being married for 20 years is they've given birth to all four people and they can still maintain their marriage. I think after 20 years of marriage, I've learned a lot, really learned a lot. My husband is a very generous man. We have our ups and downs, but I think our ups are more than our downs. And we have four beautiful children to show for it. So I'm thankful to God. It has been enjoyable. And uh, it's more pleasant than what I have gone before. I enjoyed it. You don't argue with your wife. <laughs> don't just cooperate. You know how to have a settled family. I think I have been in the marriage for 20 years because I. I just don't want to fail. I want to give it my all. I've got enough broken home. I've got enough. It's actually very tough because uh, my my siblings they they can they can really annoy you a lot, and since we're like since we're four, it's quite a big number. So you can never have time to yourself because you always have to be with one of them, and it's just and sometimes we we often play a lot, but and we also fight a lot actually too.
After 20 years of marriage and from my mom, I've been able to understand how to present myself and from my dad, I've been able to learn how to be very business minded and an industrialist. If I were to add to the 20 years, I won't add years per se, I'd add an eternity because they're soulmates and they're meant for each other. After 20 years of marriage for my parents, what I've learned um, from my parents are family values and um, I should always be business minded. From 20 years of marriage, I've learned from my parents that I should never give up and that if I have a goal, I should aim to achieve it. My dad always tells me to be serious and that life is not easy and that you have to work for success. If I was going to add to their 20 years, I would add as many as possible more years to their marriage because I hope that their marriage remains strong and it remains just very good for as long as possible for maybe an infinite amount of time. I think after 20 years of marriage, I can advise young couples that it's all about being tolerant. You have to be able to tolerate your partner and you should learn to love even if you don't want to. You should just learn to love because with loving each other, it conquers all and you'll be able to work on so many things out. At least for me, it's work for me and I respect my husband. No matter what, I respect him. I never expect she'd be as good as this. But she, she brings surprises, and that's why I love her. The, the dead was part of the place. Let's get it like me. Yeah. Yeah. By my side, by my side. Yeah. On my left, on my right. Oh. You made my life so beautiful. Everything I have is yours. And you waited patiently. When I was down and deep in sin, I got so much to say. So let me start by saying this. Turn my morning into dancing. I thank you, I thank you. You turn my sorrow into joy. I thank you, I thank you. You gave my life a brand new meaning. I thank you, I thank you. For everything you brought me through. Yeah. I thank you, I thank you.
Comedy links to the first back guy. You're a bad must book you, right? Lamy D. Eva. Jimmy Jack. See the key. Big a day. Kaya Shabala. Young Six. Yabo Joe. Kiss Daniel. You don't care Joe and Tony. Emma Wu. Killary Bo. Killary Bo. Killary Bo. Killary Bo. Mo One B. Killary Bo. 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 Emma Wu. Emma Fo. Killary Bo. Bo Kinyo. Only a thing boy. A drum be fair. Killary Bo. Killary Bo. You took it in you. Killary Bo. 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 Kill